today on Natu Na Nature Naturalist, we will be interviewing the Great Springled Furry. I am Nora, your filmer, and there is Caroline, the handler. And here is the Great Springled Furry. The flight period is May to October. You mean June to September? Yeah. That's a great space wing there. Here's some closer pictures. Yep. Um, habitat is woods, woodland edges, fields, and gardens. You can see them around. And uh, let me get a closer look at this one here. Yeah. This one has a little bit of a rip on one wing. Comes down, you can see that. See yeah, right there? Oh, that's a pretty one, isn't it? Well, the great sprinkled fritillary lays its eggs. Um, it's a long butterfly with a strong flight. Oh, it frequently spent stops to nectar especially on milkweeds where several adults can be found at one time on a single flower head. Like me. <laughs> That's when I found them. Females lay eggs on and near various species of violets. The larvae of the great sprinkled fritillary. See there? This is a great sprinkled fritillary just so you know. Um, feed at night. The larvae feed at night. By the time females lay their eggs, the larval host plants have often died back. This egg-laying behavior is thought to be one reason why a number of species of fritillaries are listed as endangered in the U.S. The regal fritillary, not shown, is endangered in Ohio and has been not been seen in the state since 1991. That's some pretty sad history there. Okay, bye. Fly on the Wi-Fi and check out our next episode, the release of the Great Sprinkled Fritillary. You, 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 thank you for sponsoring us.